My name is Baxter Maziopa. I work as an Aeronautical Information Services Officer at Zambia Airport Corporation Limited. Our objective as Aeronautical Information Services is to ensure the steady flow of information necessary for the safety and efficient operations of aircraft. A flight plan is a written account of an intended flight that is filed by a pilot or an airline representative. And the information that is contained is uh, the details of the aircraft, uh, such as uh, the registration, uh, the, abil uh, the ability of the aircraft and the capability of the aircraft, the details of the crew, uh, the details on the intended route, the departure and also the destination aerodrome and many other information that that uh, flight will have. Pre-flight information bulletin is provided to airline operators and uh, pilots concerning their intended flight. The information that is usually given to them basically is uh, the weather and the notice to airmen, which are known as uh, NOTAMs. And in the NOTAMs, there is information about the uh, status of their intended destination and if there are any changes that may affect their flight, that information is also included as uh, part of that pre-flight information bulletin. A NOTAM is quite an uh, essential part of uh, pre-flight information bulletin because it helps a pilot to prepare in advance on what he's going to expect uh, in, uh, on his intended route and also his destination. An aeronautical information publication, an AIP, is a document that contains information of a lasting nature concerning aeronautical facilities, uh, aeronautical uh, structures and, and, and details for the country. And uh, it's quite a vital uh, part of, uh, of documentation. From the time that uh, a pilot or airline representative puts in a flight plan, that information is processed and transmitted to our approach control, area control, and tower control. And once that information is received, they are able to give him a slot or a clearance for that intended flight. And also that information is not only given to the ATC units, at the departure airport, but also uh, the destination uh, uh, airport or aerodrome, and also the alternate in case of an emergency, and also the airports that are within the route. Hence, that information uh, is given to them in advance so that as it takes off, everyone is aware of, uh, of, of his status, they are aware of of his route, they are aware of uh, his intentions and they are able to communicate with him, co uh, communicate with the, 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 the pilot uh, from the information that has been provided. I am a traveller, not just an ordinary traveller, but a frequent traveller. Travelling to me is not just about moving from one place to another. Most of my trips happen at random, so a self-check-in kiosk always comes in handy. That way, I do not have to queue up and stare at my watch while my flight takes off. With all this traveling that I do, safety is my number one priority. Knowing my luggage is well looked after, and most of all, a team of people within the airport to assist me. I'm constantly on my smartphone and laptop while in the airport terminal, so Wi-Fi always saves the day and grabbing a snack while I wait for my flight is key to keeping me calm. Travel with peace of mind and enjoy airport services at your convenience with the help of Zambia Airports Corporation Limited, Zambia's airport and air navigation provider.